breaking tonight. The Tigers are now one step closer to the World Series. That's right. Things are looking very good. Detroit beat the Cleveland Guardians in game three of their ALDS tonight. What a night for baseball fans. Our sports anchor Jeff Lesson is in studio to break down this historic win for us. Terrence, what can you say about these guys? One more win is all it takes for them to advance to, hello, the American League Championship Series. Who knows? Maybe a World Series appearance. Tigers haven't seen that in a while. Tigers beat the Guardians 3 to nothing. Another outstanding day by what else? The Tiger bullpen using six pitchers to shut out the Guardians, only allowing six hits. We'll have highlights of the game's biggest moments later in the 6 o'clock hour. And our Rachel Hoffmeyer will have a full game recap on CBS News Detroit at 11. All right, Jeff, when we were uh, with you here at the ballpark a little bit earlier, you were saying uh, this is just a fascinating team. Uh, tell us about some of the things that make this particular team unique, especially considering they're advancing so far into the postseason. Uh, well, <laughs> Shane, I'm old enough to have covered the 06 team, which went to the World Series, and the 012 team, which went to the World Series and didn't win. Neither team won, but guess what? Those teams were expected to get there. This team, no one in the right mind expected them to get where they are today. Even just a few weeks ago, this is one of the most incredible comebacks in baseball, maybe even sports history. A team that, let's face it, they have less talent than some of the other teams left, but they just keep pulling it out. A.J. Hinch has been an absolute wizard with the pitching staff. Maybe he wraps it up tomorrow. Yeah, we can't wait to see where they go. We'll just live in the moment and enjoy it for now, but this is very exciting. Yeah, I just love the randomness of it all. It makes it really exciting. Doesn't all right, Jeff, better. thank you very much. <laughs> And if you are just joining us, thank you for sticking with us at 6. I'm Shana Humphreys. And up here, it's Friday. We are live tonight from the Madison Rooftop as the Detroit Tigers take on the Cleveland Guardians in Game 3 of the LDS, coming home with a win. It's been a decade since the Tigers hosted a playoff game. And take them on, they did. We have team coverage tonight of this huge win. Our Veronica Ortega is talking to fans right outside Comerica Park who are surely excited and having a great night now. But first, let's take a look at the forecast with our Ahmed Badji, who's also been strolling around the park with all the excited fans. Ahmed, how are you doing? Oh, I am surrounded by a lot of noise right now. Go Tigers! Go Tigers! <laughs> <laughs> That's the best reaction to get. Now, let's show you the forecast real quick for tomorrow's game because this is where it's all about. Outside right now, we got those 60s there for you. For tomorrow, here's what we're going to be looking at. Temps will be dropping down to about 60 degrees right at first pitch for the start of the game. 50s in store as the Tigers make a run to try and clinch this series. Now, let's bring it back out here live again. All right, you guys just came out. What was it like in there? Oh, my gosh, it was ecstatic in there. Everybody is so excited. Yeah. It's been 10 years. The last time I remember the Tigers being in the playoffs, I was in eighth grade. I was 12 years old. So it's absolutely insane that this group of guys can just come together and pull off a, like wins like this. It's, uh, it's the best rookies. thing ever. 11, 11 rookies is on a major league record on the roster. They have 11 rookies. Unbelievable, unbelievable. So when you see, of course, that percentage from just a little bit ago that said, you know, 0.2 chance to try and get here, what do you say now? Unreal, unreal. What a run, what a run, right? Uh, October baseball is what it's all about. Awesome, thank you both, yes. love it. And of course, we've got an awesome forecast then tomorrow, sunshine there. We're gonna take a longer look into the extended coming up in just a bit. We'll send it back to you. All right, put some respect on the Tigers' name, right? <laughs> <laughs> just a bunch of rookies, a bunch of guys from the yeah. minors. It's a ragtag crew. I love, I love it. to see it. And you know what? The fans are so excited, even beyond what we're seeing right there. Veronica Ortega has a better look for us at how the fans are reacting to everything that's happening here at Comerica. Veronica, what are you seeing? I am seeing just jubilation and joy and happiness. There are so many words that mean excitement. Obviously, game three is now over and the celebrating has begun. Oh my God, it's amazing. Go Tigers! Woo! Wow, this is absolutely incredible. And this is just, you know, a taste of what I'm sure is going to be happening all night long. It's Detroit's time. Like they said, it's Detroit's time. You know, this is obviously a very exciting day. It's been exciting all day long. 
Earlier today, recruits from the Detroit P Yo. Police Department. Oh boy. You know what? Go, Woo! All right. Go, you know what? <laughs> this is amazing, incredible. And I'm just gonna like hand it over to the fans. Let's go, <laughs> We're not even in the ALDS, and the city is buzzing right now. Yeah, I was here in 2006, and that was wild. This is 10 times more of that. We just beat Cleveland. Look, Cleveland, we love you, but it's not your time. Detroit's been holding it down, and we're ready for the World Series right now. Doesn't matter where you are in the world. If you're a Detroit fan, you're with us. So, man, uh, praise God. This is amazing. <laughs> Thank you for that. Go Detroit. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Go. Woo, Detroit. Okay. I couldn't have said it any better myself. Um, we're going to be out here for the next hour talking to fans who, of course, are so excited. I'm going to send it back over to you guys and kind of regroup because this was amazing. <laughs> All right. First, CBS News Detroit. Well, well said. Quartet. That one guy. It's a little overwhelming. Yeah, that overwhelming. one guy was very well spoken. <laughs> So uh, eloquently I think some of these fans started celebrating long before they I actually think so won. Too. <laughs> it seems like they've been on this for a while. All right, we understand the excitement, though. It really is just electric in this city. Veronica, thank you very much. Be careful out there. <laughs> thank you. Yeah.